We'll take you now through the Cowboys depth chart as we sit right now. No projections based on added players, just the guys currently on the Cowboys roster with OTAs set to begin. So we'll start, of course, at the quarterback spot. Now, Dak Prescott, surprise, he's a lock. Cooper Rush should be safe, although Mike White will battle him for that backup role. I put White on the roster bubble for now, almost put him on should be safe. If I were doing 53-man roster projections, I think they'd both make the roster. The Cowboys could carry three quarterbacks this year. And then, of course, Dalton Sturm, who, well, he is a camp arm. He's not going to make the active roster. So those are your four options for each, each position that we go through here. Lock, should be safe, roster bubble, and unlikely. But let me know, guys, who should be the Cowboys' backup quarterback. Give me a heart for Cooper Rush, a like for Mike White. And for you crazy people out there think it should be Dak Prescott, I guess just give me an angry face. Take it out to the running back position. Two locks, at least in my eyes. That is Zeke Elliott and Taven Austin, who is a running back receiver hybrid type deal. Think Lance Dunbar. Rod Smith and Jermaine Zolawali, I'm pretty sure they're going to be safe. But just for now, I'll put them in the should be safe category. Not quite a lock. Also, by the way, in the should be safe category is Bo Scarborough. I think the Cowboys will carry Zeke and Rod and Austin and Olawali and Bo Scarborough because Austin can be a receiver as well. Scarborough is what I want to mention the most here because I know a lot of you guys like Bo Scarborough and I get it. I totally understand why you guys are fans of Scarborough because he showed the great upside at Alabama. Injuries are a big concern. That's why he fell down to round seven for the Cowboys. Has to be a better blocker as well, especially if he wants to help at all on third downs. And maybe special teams as well. That's not really his area of expertise. So Scarborough could become a great backup for the Cowboys. But as of right now, he remains behind Rod Smith on the Cowboys depth chart because Smith can do so much more for the Cowboys on third downs and on special teams. But if you get to some snaps later in the year, it's second down and Zeke needs a breather. Keep an eye on Scarborough being that guy to take over later in the year. Maybe not quite right away in the beginning of the season. On to the wide receiver depth chart, and there's a lot of question marks at this one. Now, Hearns and Beasley and Gallup are locks. They're not going to cut those guys right now. There are not enough slot guys to cut Cole. Hearns is staying, obviously, and Gallup was a third-round pick. He, unless he gets himself into major off-the-field off the trouble, he's not going any, anywhere. T-Will was a lock. Then he got arrested. The drops it down into should be safe. I still think he's on the active roster, but if he gets suspended, maybe things change a little bit. Then you got, in my eyes, three guys battling for at maybe three. I don't think they carry seven guys, so it's probably one or two spots in Deontay Thompson, Noah Brown, and Cedric Wilson. Now, I kind of feel good about Brown's roster chances right now because he can block really well, could even play some tight end if needed. I think Wilson and Thompson are going to battle to be that Bryce Butler type deep threat. Thompson has better pure speed, but Wilson showed at Boise State he can be a deep threat as well. That is going to be a notable roster battle in my eyes. Wilson versus Thompson and then Noah Brown as well. And then four other guys that are they're not going to make the roster. Lance Lenore, KD Cannon, Marchie Murdoch, and Malik Earl. Cannon's the most talented of those guys, but he's got some focus issues, and I think those guys are more practice squad options as well. So let me know, guys, who will lead the Cowboys in receiving yards? Give me a heart for Cole, a like for Hearns, a wow face for Michael Gallup, and a laughy face for Terrence Williams. If it's someone else, just let me know in the comments section. On to tight ends then. And this one, no locks in my eyes. Now, maybe Dalton Schultz because he was a fourth-round pick, but even then, I'm not sure he's a true lock. Jeff Swaim should be safe. Blake Jarwin, because the front office loves him, should be safe. And then that leaves Rico Gathers, who I think is very much on the roster bubble right now. The Cowboys could take four tight ends, but if they only take three, as we sit right now before the preseason, Rico's the odd man out. Now, he definitely brings the most upside as a pass catcher of any of those four tight ends on the Cowboys roster. But he needs a lot of work as a blocker. And I think the staff did not like him saying he barely plays football. And I think there are some concerns about his true commitment to the NFL, given his rap career is something that he's very passionate about. So it's very much a make or break year for Rico. If he doesn't shine in the preseason, do not be surprised if he gets cut when we get to the 53-man roster trimming. On to the offensive line then. And three obvious locks in my eyes. Tyron, Lael Collins, and Cam Fleming. Those guys are not going anywhere. anywhere. Chaz Green, though. He's very much on the roster bubble. I know a lot of you guys would love to see Green get cut, and if we see Falcons Green again, he is not going to be on the roster, but he will battle for one of those last spots on the Cowboys' offensive line. So three locks there, 
Three more on the interior. Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, and Connor Williams. Now, Joe Looney, I think, will once again be on the roster because he can play center. That puts you at seven guys if you take him with Martin, Chaz Green, and maybe one of these other offensive linemen on the interior battling for a roster spot. I don't think Damian Mama or Kadeem Edwards or the undrafted fringes this year, Stan and Robertson, make the active roster, but we'll see how they fare in the preseason. I think the Cowboys want to carry seven, maybe eight offensive linemen if they carry eight. That's how maybe, just maybe, Chaz Green finds a way to hang around for one more year. That's the offense onto the defensive side of the ball then. You see, you got David Irving. Lee Collins, who is hurt, but I think he's locked as well. Brian Price is the closest they have to a, a true one technique right now, who is a backup in mind. It's a big need for the Cowboys as far as I'm concerned. Jihad Ward, they traded for. I think he's safe, but if he struggles, the Cowboys don't have much invested. that they could end up cutting him. Some other guys to monitor here. Richard Ash and Lewis Neal were both on the active roster at times last year. And if the Cowboys want any, anybody else, at least one of those guys is going to make the active roster, and I don't really like that idea. One note on Lewis Neal as well. The Cowboys did put him at fullback for a little bit this year, it, or leading up to the, to the OTAs. That's not a good sign for a chance to make the active roster. If they put him at fullback, I don't think they really like him long-term as a DT. Daniel Ross and Quentin Osborne. I know some guys like Osborne, but I don't think they're going to make the roster, but they could be prime practice squad candidates. So with Collins hurt and no one technique, what's the biggest need right now for the Cowboys? Maybe you guys will say safety, receiver, tight end. I still think it's defensive tackle. I really want a one technique, and I'm really disappointed the Cowboys could not land Terrell McLean. That would have been a big, big boost for them up front. We'll stick on the defensive line, go to defensive end next year. Obviously, Demarcus Lawrence not going anywhere. Taco Charlton not going anywhere. Dorrance Armstrong, I think he's a lock as well. Tyrone Crawford should be safe. There is a scenario, namely if Charles Tapper and Ely and Dayton Jones and or Randy Gregory all look really good. If the Cowboys say, cool, we'll worry about the leadership later and take an extra couple million in cap space by cutting Crawford. But again, I don't think that will happen. So in reality, those first four, first four guys are probably safe. Then you got a big time battle. Coney Ely, Charles Tapper, Dayton Jones, and if he's cleared and, and reinstated, Randy Gregory for two spots. I don't think you're going to carry seven defensive ends. So all of a sudden, you're talking about cutting various players that are good players, like all those guys I just mentioned, but there aren't enough spots on the roster barring injuries. So which player or players should the Cowboys keep? Give me a heart for Charles Tapper, a like for Coney Ealy, a wow face for Dayton Jones, and a laughing face for Tyrone Crawford. Jones and Ely, by the way, could also play some on the interior. That positional flex could be a big factor for the Cowboys because, you know, they love to move players around to other positions, even if it's not their best fit. So let me know there, folks, in the comments section. On to linebacker then, and yeah, three locks that are not surprises. Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, and Leighton Vander Esch, Joe Thomas, Damian Wilson. Like Those guys will be on the active roster as well. So that's five. Will the Cowboys carry six? If so, which one of these guys are they keeping? Or could they even maybe do seven, but probably not? Justin March Lewis played a little bit last year. Trayvon Johnson was a Week 17 addition after the practice squad. And they drafted Chris Covington as well. I like Lanning and Shockley and Cairo, but I think those are practice squad guys in year one who maybe in year two or year three get the call up to the active roster as the Cowboys adjust their overall uh, linebacker group going forward. So speaking of Smith and Van Der Esch, who will have more tackles in 2018? I am very curious as to what you guys vote on this one. I think I'd lean more toward Jalen Smith because I think he's going to be healthy and he had a lot of tackles last year, but it's going to be a close battle there. And ideally, both these guys have a bunch of tackles as does Sean Lee because you want all three of those guys making plays for you this year. On to the cornerback spot, and this one, this one is very easy for the top four. Your top four guys in some order, Chidobie, Awuzie, Jordan Lewis, Byron Jones, Anthony Brown. Those guys are locks. They will get almost all of your snaps at cornerback. Now, the fifth spot is very much up for debate and up, up for grabs here. Marquez White, I like, former 600 at FSU. Duke Thomas was kind of an IR stash last year from Texas, has some ability as well. Cam Kelly, getting a little bit of, of, of hype around him as well. Trevarius Ward, Donovan Olumba, all very talented players. So, who will be the Cowboys' number five cornerback? Both Kelly and White 
fit the role very well in terms of long, lanky quarterbacks that fit the Chris Richard scheme. Also helping Cam Kelly, he can play some safety as well. He played that at, at San Diego State. So as we move now to the safety position, it's very thin. You go three deep. That's it. Jamel Showers, Marquis Huff, and Tyree Robinson, not ideal options. I would not be surprised if the Cowboys added somebody, be it via trade, be it a current free agent, or be in a roster cut before the season starts. But I really don't like the idea of going into week one with Jeff Heath, Xavier Woods, and Kevon Frazier. I like all of those guys, but they're all number twos, number threes. Now, they all play various roles for the Cowboys and can help on special teams, but where's your stud number one safety? It's not on the roster right now. Cowboys might not find one this year. And then on, of course, the special teams because those matter as well. You got three locks, Bailey, Jones, and LP. They're not going anywhere. Mayer and Daly, those are just kind of camp bodies, camp snappers, camp legs. They're not going to go away anytime, or they're not going to make the roster anytime soon. Those three guys are here to stay. All right, folks, that takes care of the depth chart then for the Cowboys as we sit right now. If you want to be featured on another upcoming mailbag, get your questions in the comments section. We'll have one coming up later this week. I always love doing those. I think you guys enjoy them as well. All right, folks, that does it for us today. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDownie for more Cowboys coverage. Hit me up with any questions you have as well. If you missed anything, don't worry. We'll play it again. Until then, we'll see you next time.